folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride, and today we're down here in Austria at the Foreign Car Auto Show, and uh, we are here with Chris. Yep. Chris has a really unique uh, uh, vehicle that I have not seen before, and it's a 1961 um, Humbler, no, hum Humber. Humber, Humber and Super Snipe. So, Chris, tell us about your car. Tell us a little bit why you got it and some so, of the features. So, uh, I'd, I'd been looking for an older car to either fix up and restore or just as a cruiser for going to car shows and stuff. And I happened to come across this thing on Craigslist. And uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going to go down and check it out. So did you did you know much? I mean, was there much? There's, I mean, be that I've never seen a vehicle like this before. How much did you have to compare this vehicle against anything else? I I, I had pretty, pretty much nothing that I knew about them really. Um, I I did a couple of quick searches on them after I found out about the car on Craigslist, and I found a little bit of information, but not much. Uh, it's it's kind of tough to find information for them a little bit at times. Not a lot. Um, there ain't, yeah, there ain't a whole lot. Um, and uh, so I went down there, not not really knowing much about the cars, um, and basically went there just to verify a structure on it. Okay. I, I figured if it's structurally sound, I, I was pretty content on the idea of buying it. And. Uh, well, I came home with it that day. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it was structurally sound then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when I got it, there, there's a little bit of surface rust on it, and um, when and as far as the floorboards, there's a couple of small quarter-sized holes in the floors, and that was all the rust that you can find on it. Really. The undercoating looked really good, um, and everything. Everything seemed good as far as structure, so I, I was happy to bring it home. Now, did it did the motor start? Had it been sitting for a while? Had it been driven? It, well, when I when I got it, the uh, the guy was uh, had it sitting for about two three years, and uh, when he he, he uh, had carburetor issues, and he had the carburetor off and. He uh, had he had the carburetor sitting in the back seat, and he couldn't find parts for the carb, and so he kind of gave up on it, and he just put a, a real low price on it to get rid of it because he didn't he didn't know how to find the parts, and uh, I ended up getting home with it, and I put I just went through and cleaned the carb, and bolted it back on, and the thing wound up firing right up and ran ran almost perfect. Now tell us a little bit about, about the motor that you have in here. So the motor is a 3.0 inline six cylinder Hemi. Um, it's not a very overly powerful motor um, but it uh, is considered kind of a performance package for a British car back then. Okay. So I think um, you said it was right, right around what 130 or something like that horsepower, yeah, I, I roughly. Think, I think it's roughly right around 130 horsepower from what I would, from what I remember. But uh, so you then, rebuilt the carb and it fired right up. Yep. It uh, and it, it didn't take a whole lot to go through it, and it had the uh, Buick Rally wheels on it, which I <laughs> it <was a> <laughs> with it. Which, which I I thought it looked great on it. I that was one of the first things that kind of caught my eye on it when I pulled in. But so, uh, so on the on the inside here, I noticed there's a lot of wood on the dash. Yeah. Was this when this was marketed originally? What was it marketed as? So it was it was originally marketed as as a uh, uh, kind of like a chauffeur's or uh, a little bit higher end uh, car. Um, with, they had the wood dash, they had wood wood trays for the back seat, um, wood yeah. cigarette uh, uh, Ash ashtrays, ashtrays yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Nice um, this car here, originally, it sounded as if it was originally in Arizona. Yeah. So the interior took quite a beating on it. 
So it's a little bit rough inside, but you know what? It it gave it a lot of character, and I I can't really complain a whole lot. But the, uh, the outside is beautiful for the amount of rust that it has for it, having oh, sat. It, it, and it's, it's, it's has a lot of nice patina, a lot of character. Uh, it has a lot of nice chrome pieces out the, there. I really like those. It has a lot of nice chrome. Um, what about the gas? The gas cover here. It's yep, got a so unique. I, I was showing you earlier. It, one of the things on this here it has a little twist off cap on the uh, tail light assembly. So that, I like that. It's <laughs> reminiscent of some other cars where they, you know, the, you were talking yep. earlier. Where they, so Chris, I've got a would, question for you. Did the previous owner show you that or did you spend a day and a half at the gas station trying I, to figure I that out? I spent a little bit of time figuring it out. <laughs> so, I, you know, the 57 when, uh, Chevy had it hidden in the in the left rear tail fin. Yep. So this is kind of cool that it has it hidden as the uh, reflector tail light. Yep. And uh, I, I always joke around that uh, I'm changing my blinker fluid. <laughs> so, but uh, it, it's got some other nice little deals. It has a hidden key for the uh, The little trunk, flap for the trunk the, for the the opening, flap. yeah. It has a hidden latch underneath. The, uh, and that's the backup light. That's the backup light. You got a uh, single backup light. You got your uh, brake and turn signals on each edge with the reflectors on the bottom. And yeah, I don't want your reflector fluid to get out. Count that back <laughs> up. So. And then the the emblem here is uh, is it's a bird. A, and you yep. said you thought it was a it, sand crane. It, it, it's it's a, a a snipe, which is. Uh, as far as I know, it's very similar to like a uh, sandhill crane or uh, uh, bird of that type. Of oh, that type, okay. So, over the years, the, the weather stripping's gotten a little little beat up, but it's still holding water up. Uh, for the most part. For the most part. In the garage, it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this is a 1961 Humber Super Snipe. It is a British car. Uh, you said, uh, what did you say, 60 some thousand miles? It's right around 69,000 69, miles. 69,000 miles. Chris, thank you so much for sharing your car with us today. This is really cool, folks. I've never seen one. I don't know how many of you have seen one. If you have, please comment below that you've seen one of these in person. Uh, if not, then come on out to the Osseo, Minnesota Car Show next time, and uh, you'll get to see it again. Chris, thank you so much. Yes. Yep, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Chris. Sure, appreciate it. Was a pleasure it. talking to you.